Now India wants to rev its private ecosystem in space. Till now, the Indian industry has played the role of vendors. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, whom I have called a space buff for long, has unlocked the space sector. And the private industry is going to participate in a big way. Uh, Dr. Goenka, you've seen the development of the automobile sector from Fiat an ambassador to now a plethora of uh, automobiles. Uh, within this, is India ready to unlock the space sector? Space is $400 billion uh, economy globally. India is seven, eight billion. Our aspiration is that we should get our fair share. Whether that fair share is be 10%, 5%, 8%, I'm not saying, but get our fair share. That means maybe 5x from where we are today uh, is what we would like to do. Now, India certainly has the opportunity, but nobody should be under a false sense of comfort that ho jayega. It won't happen by itself. ISRO will have to be the primary facilitator of this because what ISRO has is unbelievable depth of technology. Yes. Uh, the infrastructure that they have is, I mean, if you go to Sri Kota and look at what they have, you'll just, eyes will pop out. That who had the sort of foresight to create something like this. So without, so number one, ISRO has to be fully behind it. Okay, fully behind it, not just because they've been asked to do it, but fully behind it. And I see nothing today that makes me doubt that they're not fully behind it. They're absolutely from the chairman to every person that I interact with. They're fully in favor of supporting private sector to come up in space. On this episode of Life and Science with Pallav Bagla, can India get a bigger share in the global space ecosystem? But for that, an enabling policy environment and a law, all are in the making. India reaching for the skies. Keep watching India Science.